Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode nine of All the Mods to the Sky, where we make a uh, Drink Me Mob Farm. Yes, nine episodes in, and we finally got our mob farm. Let's see how we do it. And all right, I didn't even build that island yet, and I said I was going to build it between episodes, but I came up with an ingenious way of building it. So I wanted to show you guys this on uh, stream, how or on uh, on video how I'm going to do it, not stream. Uh, I've not streamed this pack yet over on Twitch, but if I have enough people interested, uh, I will do episodes, record between scenes over there, and even full episodes. Uh, but yeah, I came up with an interesting uh, idea on how we're going to do this. And that is with a tablet of Conjure Island Plains. Uh, we need a flourishing arcwood log, a grass block, and an earth essence. To make grass blocks, you just take the moss, which I showed you guys how to do that. Uh, well, what about two episodes ago and put it in a manipulation essence you get the grass blocks so we have this now the tablet of conjure island plains uh, what I want to do is from this edge about if we go with these three center blocks here and make out uh, let's see here we want to go four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. 12, 13, 14, and three more for good measure. Yeah, there, there should be fine. We'll set down the ritual uh, brazier there. We'll set the source jar that, you know, we get uh, all the way over there. Uh, we set this on here. And we place one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more. Seven of those. You see that it says uh, awaiting activation. To activate this ritual, right click it and it starts. Uh, making an island for us. It's kind of neat. Like, I, I've never done this ritual before. And it should be... One, two, three, four. I am just hoping that it does not go too far that way. Okay, is, is this... Okay, it's saying source is needed. So let's break this real quick. I uh, go grab this jar of source. Uh, should we put down another source jar? I think so. I mean, we've got plenty of them over here. 
completely full, ready for us to do magic with. Uh, how will it take all of them? Uh, thank you for putting those in there. All right, so let's uh, take one more jar. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oof. Uh, yeah, let, let's just keep an eye on this. This gets too much closer to our main island. I'm hoping that it stops right here. Or, or did it stop? Like, I, I did not realize how big sources needed. Um, you know, we'll, we'll give you a little bit more source. Interesting. Did I did I math this right? Because look, it looks like there is the edge of that. So I think I did math this right. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. I actually was one off. But uh, now we can uh, put down some dirt for this. And uh, pick this on up. So that's how rituals are done which we're going to be doing a lot of rituals here today. So let me clean up this island, get it lit up, and I will be right back. Oh god, this is not good. Not good at all. I forgot to light it up. I forgot to light up that island. Uh, yeah, we're fighting zombies using the... Awesome balloon splitter axe that we have. And we have Tom the Ninja here. First, the Papioso's boss. Uh. to go and grab something out of this chest, is it? Where are the mob yoinkers? Mob yoinkers. There they are. Let's uh, yoink this mob and... Uh, let's go over here. Nope, baby skellies. Oh, this is not fun. Let's 
hoping to get over here and yoink one of you guys. Right. Uh, okay. You. Uh, no, I wanted to yoink you. Alright, alright, so let's uh, yoink one of those guys. Clear this all up. And, uh, yeah, I will light this back up and, uh, get to, uh, prettying this up as well. Or my battle mage outfit. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I noticed something spawning over there. Uh, especially after I got killed. And find some torches before we head over there. Six torches. Uh, not enough, but it, it'll do. Oh, and also I wanted to get the stuff for a mob yoinker. Just tossing some iron in there to be done up. Uh, mob yoinkers. That is... Okay, copper. We've got plenty of copper and plenty of this iron should have a good number of leads, which we're going to need to get the uh, mobs we want. That is that, and there's that, that. Okay, so we've got uh, six, five more mobs that we can link right now. Which will be enough mobs. Uh, one of the things I wanted was milk. Alright, so we just going to cow. I don't need those guys. But what I do need to do is light this up real Nicely, and yeah, it looks like right there, there, uh, there should be a good bit that, and right there. Good, good. Okay, so I'm going to finish moving the, these over to the new island that we just made, and I'll be right back. Now that it is night, uh, I did get uh, some mobs uh, to spawn over there that I wanted to collect. A spider, cow, enderman, and a zombie. That, that well, I would also like a skeleton, but, you know, it is... I could go over there and possibly break one of these and hopefully get a skeleton to spawn. Let's say this one should be dark enough. Hopefully we get us a uh, 
skeleton to spawn. Uh, and I don't see one of the things I wanted to have. Let's check in here. Did I not make these yet? I don't think I did. I think that is why I had the parts on the original. Uh, where is the glass? That's not my only glass. Glass. There we go. There we go. This should be enough to at least get these first four done up. Um, we're going to need four containment jars. So that's 12 of those. And we're out of glass. Okay, so we need a little bit more glass. Uh, I have... Oh, nope, nope, did not want that. Uh, I have this chest set up where it is pulling uh, out of here, just processing the large back uh, log of ores set that up while we were waiting. Sand in there. Sand in there. Uh, I need... Eh, that should be okay enough. I'll, I'll deal with this uh, raw aluminum because we can't access this one. I'm going to have to set something up to do that. And once it gets done, it gets put over here into this. So let's see here. We need six more. Let's get rid of that for right now. Two more. Two more. Once those last two get done, we can get the four jars that we need. All right. So we've got the four jars. We've got the four mobs that we want. Um, get these mobs down here on this bar. Just double checking over there. Uh, I built this glass enclosure here to do the, the following ritual. Uh, we need a tablet of containment. If you read this here, it says captures nearby entities and place them into uh, nearby containment jars. After the first capture, this ritual requires additional source to continue. Mobs in jars must be within three blocks of the brazier. So, we can set this here. Okay, it's waiting the activation. Uh, I'm going to set down the four jars here like this. I'm going to put one andersite here. And we're going to start off with uh, the only one that needs nighttime right now, and that is the zombie. Okay. Zombie. Come on. Come on. Okay, so we've got the first one. We can place down the spider. Okay. Cow. And the last one. The one we wanted the most is that Enderman. Okay, we're going to keep this going over here. Um, as long as we can. 
And uh, that's actually kind of nice. So we can actually get more of these creatures here. Uh, like, say we want to capture this sheep. Because a sheep would be useful to have. We're going to need that jar, so let's make a jar for the sheep. So here we go, jar, and we set this jar down here. All right, so we've got five of the things we want to get uh, more of, mob farm-wise, and I need some stone. Can't remember if it is regular stone that we're going to need. Uh, and we're going to need a chest, which I'm going to turn into a. Uh, Symbol storage chest. I'm gonna need eight of these guys. I'm gonna put these mob yoinkers in here for right now. Eight of these guys. And eight of these. All right, so let's uh, first make the simple storage chest. Take a regular chest, a torch, redstone torch, put those together. That makes a sophisticated storage chest. You can then put the iron around it, gold, and diamonds. And let's uh, set up, say, the mob farm here. I like the idea of the mob farm being right here. So we'll set this up here. Uh, I want it to look kind of nice, so maybe one more in. Yeah. Yeah, in this area should be good. We'll put the passive uh, one animals down below and the non-passive ones right above them. And then we'll do the same on this side, I guess, as well for each. So we'll set this here. If I'm not mistaken, we hit this with the trick me okay. Uh let's go into the quest book here. What is it? What is it? Uh, trying to remember where it's at. There it is. Does it have any tips about that? No. Uh, give me one second. I need to look this up and look. We'll figure it out. All right, and uh, just soaking a second to pull up the RS and the Bells website. And find the answer I needed. And I'm just seeing if I've got any of the one item. I cannot seem to find it. 
So let's look at this real quick. Uh, what is the ways of making this? Uh, vines or moss blocks? Vines. Yeah, I'm not working on vines just yet. Uh, mycelium, grass. Grass seeds. Have one grass seed, it looks like. That's pumpkin seed. Yeah, okay, so grass blocks. Uh, there's a starbuncle over there. All right. I'm going to have to sieve some more dirt, so hopefully this will be enough here. Give us the grass seeds we need. Yeah, that is enough grass seeds. If I can remember where those were. Okay, grass seeds turns into mossy blocks. Mossy with cobblestone gives us mossy cobblestone. We need mossy cobblestone to do this. So, just so you guys know. All right, and now we hit this with a Drigny charm. And after a little bit, we see cool particles, and we get a Drigny Pinch. It starts dancing there, and we can set this diamond chest down right beside it. Uh, and we see right here, he goes, okay. Uh, and he dances. After a little bit of him dancing, he gets a little bit of a gold uh, energy. Trying to remember how to I'm, I'm trying to remember No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to remember because, like, it's collecting stuff here. Should be going into here. And... No, I don't want you right now. Might have to pipe. It's honestly the first time I've ever done this farm. Um, it's kind of a neat idea. All right. Let's get this set up real quick. Get some item pipes. So we've got item pipes. He he the 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 I can't remember.
Like, I know he's getting stuff from him. Stay up on your hinge. Uh, give me a few seconds. I gotta try to remember how this needs to be set up. Okay, I do not understand how this happened. Uh, but I replaced the one chest with uh, a regular chest, so I think maybe the sophisticated chest uh, was preventing that. And also, just won't stay up on his hinge. Uh, but the fun thing is, uh, if we get more uh, Drigmies here with Wilden Horns, um, okay. Get these wild, uh, drink me spirits. Okay. Um. Oh, cool, cool. We've got four of these totems, uh, tokens. Nice. Uh, which. To make the drink me charms, we need those. The fishes, the seeds, the wheat, uh, and these charms. And we can have up to 20 of these guys dancing here on this. So what I'm going to do... Uh, is see how much time we have left, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I, I turned those uh, four things into more Drigmies here, so they're all dancing, and they're producing stuff for us. We are getting wool from the, the cow, or, or leather from the cow, we're getting wool from the sheep, ender pearls from the endermen, spider eyes, raw mutton, run flesh, experience gems, strings, not sure where I got that gold nugget from, which one gave me the gold nugget and raw beef. And yeah, uh, what we can do is have that all go into a bigger chest or a much more stable chest. Uh, and one of the things I need to do here is... Uh, do we have... I only have five. Like one more. We're, we're going to definitely have to work on getting the stuff that we want into this chest. Uh, make it easier on us. Uh, what I would like to do is... Give it a creature that it cannot produce anything from. Oh, it's only five. Okay, so it's only five. We'll set down this containment jar right here. Yep, there we go. We get as a llama. Uh, a trader's llama, which does not produce anything with these drink beans, but it raises their happiness up so they like to dance where there's a lot of happiness and stuff and that and they'll produce stuff for us so yeah this is our mob farm this is how we're going to do mob farms uh we're going to get more and interesting mobs for this mob farm one of the mobs i want to get for it is a wither Blaze, which will require us to go to the nether, uh, and a few others, but that's going to be down the road here. This is it for RS Nouveau right now, guys.
Uh, one of the things I wanted to show you before we wrap up is if you want, if you did not get any wild and horns to tame your drake niece, uh, you can make a ritual. Uh, the ritual is uh, here, summon wilded. Uh, and it requires vexing arc logs, a block of emerald, a block of lapis lazuli, an iron sword, and a bow. And it makes a fight uh, for you to get the wings, the spikes, and the horns. Now, whenever you use, whenever you do it, and you have uh, a spike, a wing, and a horn tossed into it, it gives you a very special wild in a wild in chimra, uh, chim, chimras, and they are a boss level fight. Uh, I will be doing that later in this series, but next episode i think we're gonna switch uh gears and go to our next mod for a little bit and uh going to spend time yeah i'll see you in the next episode i don't think i'm gonna do anything between episodes so until next time guys have a great day and later gators <laughs>